The sustainability wave is going very fast. And in terms of fire safety, I think the main challenge we have is that the innovation and the demands for new changes and new products and new solutions is going faster than we can keep up to have and ensure fire safety. In terms of uh, bio-based materials that have clear benefits when it comes to sustainability, they have one aspect to them that most of them are combustible. I mean, they add uh, fuel to a potential uh, fire, which is, you know, we're talking ma mainly about fire risk here today. And, and these things need to then be tested, be introduced in a way that we're, in, we're sure that we can still have an acceptable uh, risk uh, when it comes to our buildings. When it comes to all of this, we, we cannot design uh, as we've done because the situation is different. I can say uh, something that I work quite a bit on is photovoltaics on roofs. It's quite simple, I think, to say that if the risk is obviously higher when you put a photovoltaic on a roof, because before you didn't have anything, now you have a big electrical system that can attract and do all of the uh, many things. It also changes the geometry because before it was open space. Now you have enclosures where, where things can uh, develop faster. So the risk is higher. So to go build by history uh, doesn't work in this case. So any innovation leads to increased risk. Uh, including fire risk. Right now, with the speed we are going, we're going faster than we can manage for all stakeholders, all levels of society to be well informed about the risks and well enough informed to ensure that we have acceptable risks. With the recent facade fires that we've seen that have reached uh, worldwide uh, attention like Grenfell Tower fire and the fire in Valencia, the focus is quite obvious on the facades. We've also had fires in Dubai where one building was even called a torch. So the focus will very easily be on the facade. But as the Grenfell Tower inquiry pointed out, there are many other aspects relating to fire safety in the built environment and in the tall built environment that should be addressed. So while we need to obviously address this imminent problem that we have with uh, certain combustible facade uh, elements, we shouldn't look uh, beyond uh, all the other aspects that are needed to ensure fire safety. Personally, I don't think testing to meet real life condition is practical or even of value because there are so many variables that can go in, you know, like the wind from this direction, the wind from that direction. What was the temperature that they, you can end up in endless number of tests. Rather, what we should do is that we should use test results towards a robust solution that incorporates also other aspects of fire safety that combines active and passive fire protection, also possibly education and knowledge for the people that are users of a building. Making a fair assessment of the fire safety of uh, facade elements would be uh, fantastic. The currently, we don't assess. The tests are pass or fail. If we want to have an assessment, that requires that we actually develop more nuanced test methods that can detail things and say that something is 90 percentile, 70 percentile, 50 percentile, then people can then combine with other aspects of a building, decide if this is good enough, if you then say combine with the sprinkler, combine with other solutions, combine with extra stairwells. So right now, and just want to emphasize that the reason why we test in the lab, we test for construction product regulation rather than performance academic research or any research is of value. But I feel that I can say without being too colored based on my background that without research, progress in society will halt. Then how we use the research is then the key. And my emphasis is always, we should do research with stakeholders, not for them pretending that we work with the right people. Better fire statistics, better data is, is always of value, whether it's for research, whether it's for society. 
Of course, when it comes to fire safety, if we had better knowledge of exactly what happened in every fire around the world, I mean, that would be fantastic. It would be the biggest live database, uh, but it's very difficult to get those data, often because we get data after the fire, and most fires are not really investigated. There are some places, uh, like in Norway, where they have projects looking into using uh, data from real fires uh, towards improving uh, fire safety, and I think that's something that uh, should be done more.